Blue skies means fun days. Helping skydivers with tips and techniques about safety, training and fun jumping from those who know. Hi and welcome to Blue Skies Fun Days. Rubber bands are something most people take for granted. In skydiving, it's a different story. We need to be fussy, very fussy. It should be free of impurities. It should be manufactured to production and performance specifications. It should behave the way you expect it to behave. A rubber band is ubiquitous and seemingly small and simple, but you can make it do whatever you need to make it do within reason. But you have to know what those specifications are, what those production specifications or performance specifications are. So if you know that you need your rubber band to be able to sit on a shelf for two years and be usable at the end of that two year shelf life, then that's, you need to know that beforehand. If you need to know that that rubber band needs to stretch, you know, six times its length or seven times or eight times its length, you need to know that beforehand so that you can compound it accordingly. With our process, we run 50,000 pounds of bands a day to make office use or a single use rubber band. When it comes to parachute bands, we slow that process down significantly. We increase the quality control elements. What we consider to be an acceptable rubber band, if it, the cut right, if the cut isn't correct, we'll throw it out. Um, so the scrap rate goes up, the production time goes way up, just so that we can do the quality control that's necessary to make sure that band is cool, band is meeting specifications. We do have a proprietary curing process, but we, it's called a continuous cure process. And our process, the band vulcanizes quickly, but it continues to vulcanize as it sits. So for most parachutists, they end up with what we call our mil-spec type two band. It yeah. conforms to a military specification 11-1-4095-2 that uh, we make out of what we call our pale crepe gold compound. It's our highest rubber content compound so that it has the elasticity over time that kind of counteracts that continuous cure process that we have. Other companies do a steam cure process, which is very manually intensive. Um, ours is a much faster process, which allows us to push through more rubber bands than other people. But that higher rubber content allows that band to be more elastic longer. We do use other compounds, our sterling compound to do the type ones, the retainer bands, the tandem bands, the micro bands. But that popular band for parachutists, that type two, is a pale crepe gold rubber band. And then because of our continuous cure process and our ex high extrusion time or high extrusion volumes, we have very select rubber suppliers that give us high quality debris free rubber to start with. Um, the US military, we sell to MODs around the world. We sell to uh, Paragear and Shooting Star all of their customers, because I believe we're the only suppliers for them as far as rubber bands go. As far as I know, we're the, well, I know we're the last rubber band manufacturer in the United States. And we hit 100 years this year, this week. We're doing our best to fill in where the other company, when they closed, you know, we're doing our best to fill in with what we have, with what we know to be the best option. We have six months of rubber in our warehouse in Hot Springs. We have six months of rubber on the water, and we have 12 to 18 months of rubber on order. We don't run out of rubber. It's 15 working days uh, from order. A little bit longer if you want copies of our, um, of our age testing for the type ones and type twos, but no, there's no wait. For more tips and techniques, click subscribe.